Hey parents, before you allow your kids to take a DNA test, you, here are a few things that you might want to consider. Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics and this is a segment of DNA with a twist. Today we're going to talk with Victoria Wu, a will and probate attorney here in Texas. But before we talk to any lawyer, they always have to give a disclaimer. And remember, this is YouTube. You shouldn't be getting all of your legal advice from YouTube. As a disclaimer, nothing herein can be taken as legal advice. Uh, you must contact a licensed attorney in your jurisdiction for your specific needs. And nothing herein constitutes the formation of an attorney-client relationship. Today's legal DNA question pertains to children. Can, should minor children be tested? Well, you can. Um, you can only consent for your children. You can't consent for other children. Um, decide whether or not there's a lot of genealogical value. If you've tested both parents, you know, maybe you're not going to glean a whole lot of information. I definitely wouldn't do medical testing on children. Okay. Um, they should be old enough to, to make that decision for themselves because once that information is done, it's kind of out there and it's kind of hard to get back. And if they're young, there may be some information in there that they're maybe not quite mature enough to handle yet. Okay, and so uh, legally speaking, mm -hmm. uh, I know, remember her <laughs> disclaimer, she's not giving you legal advice, but as a parent and a lawyer, what age do you think uh, children uh, should be tested or, or allowed to be tested? I mean, allowed is probably a better word. You know, they need to be old enough to kind of understand what's going okay. on, probably maybe 12, 13, 14. I do admit my 14 year old, we did just do her, her ethnicity testing because she was curious. She, uh, but she came and asked me and I explained it all to her and she said she still wanted to go ahead and do it. She's biracial, so she wanted to see, you know, what, what part of her was mom and what part of her was dad. Um, so that one was interesting, but she came to me and I did not, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, did you have that conversation or how did she find out about uh, DNA testing? Well, she's seen, my, she's seen mine. I mean, oh, okay. she's seen mine. Um, this, I, obviously did genealogy and she's seen mine and um, her uncle had done his and okay. so she was like hmm, I'm curious what mine is um, on her dad's side so she was curious what part was you know me and what part was her dad so. okay and then along the same lines um, with children would you um, would, since it's uncle mm -hmm. so she could match and she could triangulate do right. you have any advice on what we should do with children about making matches um, I would click off the relative finder um, unless you're really certain of that child's parentage <laughs> <laughs> because some interesting things can pop up and you know that may not be something um, you want to do if you have questions about that child's parentage and you're trying to do the DNA testing because you're trying to find the parents um, I suggest doing that through an adoption registry um, instead of through say ancestry or family tree DNA just because you just don't know what's going to come up okay well, if you have any other questions about parental rights or um, age, then minor children should be tested. Be sure to leave your questions for Vicki in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing the red subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode.